Live, Live from, from SAP Tech Ed. This, this is, is SAP Developer, Developer News. Hey folks, Rich Howman here, Developer Advocate, SAP Devs. So we're just about to pack things up and head home after a fantastic SAP Tech Ed. The entire team worked really hard to bring you the 48 hours of live content and we hope you enjoyed it. Just in case you missed it, make sure to check out the replay of Jurgen Mueller's executive keynote. In his keynote, Jurgen announces the availability of SAP, SAP HANA Cloud and the SAP integration suite in the SAP business technology platform free tier. He also has a nice discussion around low code, no code topic and AppGyver. I had a chance to chat with him as well about extensibility leveraging the recently announced embedded steampunk in S4 HANA Cloud. So there's a lot to take in. If you haven't already caught it, grab your popcorn and your favorite beverage, sit back and relax, and check out the executive keynote. So we're still in Valdorf, and I'm still with Christian here. We've got so much news to talk about in the November 21 release of CAP. Uh, we're going to go through some more. So Christian, yeah, we, we talked uh, in another episode about GraphQL and uh, the REST adapters. Exactly. Tell us what's more in the uh, in the cap release for November. Yeah, so one recent addition that we have is the um, some involvement in the hybrid testing uh, area. You know, oh, yes. hybrid testing. We call this uh, this this opportunity that you have to run your application locally, but still connected to some remote cloud services, mm -hmm. uh, a database or a destination service or whatever. Yep. Right. And um, the, the thing, the issue that you always are facing there is that you have to like get the credentials to use these services. And usually you find yourself in either manually or like whatever script downloading mm -hmm. the credentials on your hard drive mm -hmm. to basically connect uh, from your local application. And we actually want to improve that also because of security concerns. You know, there's security folks always saying, well, this is not the greatest thing on earth, yeah, exactly. put it like that. So we have uh, come up with a little tool, CDS Bind, that basically can just like fetch the essential binding information to your disk, mm -hmm. still without the credentials, and then use a tool like CDS Watch, for instance, that can Fantastic. automatically yeah. download the credentials because it knows what to bind to, and then run your application with it. Yeah. So yeah, when CDS you... Watch came out, I knew that it was going to be you know the center of a lot of stuff that would be you know, would make it easier for cap developers to do yeah. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. There's also a way to uh, run that with CDS Run, but mm -hmm. CDS Watch is probably the most yeah. convenient thing. Yeah. And there's also, if I remember right, there's also some announcements relating to messaging and also schema evolution. Absolutely. So messaging, we have basically um, condensed all the information that we have at the moment for messaging like the cds.on mm -hmm. and uh, emit APIs into like a new cookbook uh, and basically yeah, come up with some sample code along with it so you find it in cap samples and there's there also a dedicated information on how to connect to SAP Event Mesh and as for HANA eventing and how to configure all that so it's all in one nicely written Beautiful. cookbook. We so like cookbooks. Yeah, absolutely. We, we do too. It's it's quite some effort to write them, but once they are there, they are really helpful. Thank you for writing them. And one more word about schema evolution? Yeah, absolutely. So that is basically uh, as one GA that was internally available for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But that's basically a way to uh, do yeah, extended schema evolution things like uh, renaming columns. Or can, the data gets remains saved there. And, exactly, yeah. right. So before that, you could only like add new things but you could never like change it. And with SAP HANA's uh, capabilities, the HTTP, I think, migration table thing that we're using mm -hmm. there, you can basically do advanced uh, like schema evolution scripts, so to say. So you can e evolve your schema without losing your data. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Christian, thank you again. There's so much more to know. So check out the November release 2021 of CAP on the usual place, cap.cloud.sap. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, we're coming to you live from SAP Tech Ed 2021. We're here in Frankfurt, Germany, where we've been recording pretty much all of last week and this week, getting Tech Ed ready. We've just aired the developer keynote and we hope that you had a chance to check it out. If not, it's available on replay. We saw lots of great demos, which we'll recap for you now. DJ, the professor. Josh, the attention seeker. Kevin, the passionate one. Katharina, the stoic warrior. Marius, the quiet one. 
Michelle, the lazy developer. Rich, Mr. Short Fused. Thomas, the people pleaser. Vitelli, the caffeinated data geek. Now, I'm not gonna use a fancy GUI for that because that would only slow me down. Well, later, I can combine this acquired data set with enterprise data stored in SAP HANA database. Does it automatically. Um, so just look at this. I've already prepared this and you can see I've set an image as the AR angle. Now I can step through my custom code and check values as needed. I'm gonna show you a couple of things, how to change the SAP eventing to use SAP Event Mesh and how to add in SAP CI CD. Edun makes calling the service as easy as writing a select statement. Next thing is we open the page map to edit the property of the list report table to initially load all data. This can be easily done. And since I first simply want to test the service without having any additional cost, I'll make use of the free tier option until next time, goodbye. In addition to the developer keynote video that uh, you have the chance to watch, we also have shared all the source code on the SAP samples repository on GitHub. We have a blog post that details some of the behind the scenes details and links to all the resources that you might want to go along with the developer keynote and check out the discussion forums in the SAP community where we've put all of our behind the scenes pictures and fun stories about how we built uh, the developer keynote. So we hope you enjoyed the show. And remember, if you haven't seen it yet, it's available for replay online.